So two changes in the order of the top six. At the end of the day, the Russians, Angelika Krilova and Oleg Ovsianikov still lead. The French now are clear in second place. Shailene Bourne, Victor Kratz of Canada in third. And a move up, as I said, for the Italians. And the British couple in 24th place qualifying. Well, Robin, the judges were with us. They moved up uh, Navka and Morozov, one place. Yes, they did, along with a few other couples that moved up the rankings. It's nice to see not only skaters being rewarded for their performances, but also some discrepancy within the judges within the rankings of individual skaters. So, I mean, we're obviously seeing some changes happening. I think the disappointment, obviously, is going to be for Shane and Victor. I think they can't really be surprised that the French moved above them. It wasn't as difficult a performance, and I think we're all kind of disappointed. We know what they're capable of. We certainly know what they're going to be doing with river dance, but the French had the edge today. But all three of the top three can win it. They certainly can. I think we're going to have to see who skates the best tomorrow. Well, that uh, free program you can see on BBC Two on Saturday morning, but our next transmission from here is the conclusion of the men's competition, and that follows Great Britain's Davis Cup tie against Ukraine on BBC Two tomorrow afternoon. Join us then.